So I just watched the first episode of the new season of Drag Race and it might have been the most stressful 60 minutes of my life. So I'm hoping this calms me down a little bit. Even brought my pog for emotional support. What is up everyone? I hope we're having a good or oh, decent start to the new year, despite the circumstances. I'm Ari Lynette, that's not changed. And today I'm back with another video collaboration. This is something I'm really excited to be doing today because I'm doing a collab with the wonderful, talented Sky the Cloud here on YouTube. You may also know them as at Beauty by Sky on Instagram. And they're just such a really cool person, just a genuine makeup enthusiast. You can tell they really love what they do, creating all of these looks. And they're also based in the UK, which I think is really valuable because it's good to have people around you that kind of get the UK makeup experience, the custom fees and stuff. Like, it's good to have people that get that. And they're also a pastel goblin, which I can assure you is a good thing. And today we're both going to be doing the thing that's been spreading around recently. Coronavirus! We're both doing the guessing the eyeshadow palette based on just the swatches challenge that's been going around YouTube recently. I first remember seeing Lauren May Beauty doing this challenge, and then I've also heard about a few other people that I don't watch. Best to keep quiet about that. But once I saw Lauren do it, I was like, first of all, I really want to give this a go because this seems like such a cool challenge to try out. And two, I bet Sky would be the perfect person to do this with because I feel like we have like overlapping tastes but not like identical tastes so chances are we'll both like know some different palettes in common but I feel like there's gonna be some wild cards in there too. So the first thing is that I really want to thank Sky for doing this collab with me and if you are here from their channel Hello, hi, it's nice to meet you. And if you are here for my channel, then I highly encourage you to go and check out Sky's channel on YouTube. Top tier quality makeup content. And I only collaborate with cool people, so surely that's a sign. I will leave that channel in the description as well as their video. I'm going to be reacting live to these palettes that I'm seeing today, which is quite nerve-wracking, but I guess we're doing this together. One thing that's really good about this video is that you can play along too, if you want to. You can pause the video at certain times at your convenience and guess along with me. I will have the pictures up somewhere around here so we can go through this together. So if you want to see me try and guess all of these eyeshadow palettes just by the swatches, then don't go anywhere because there are eight of them and I can't wait to see what they've picked out for me. So I have these eight palettes on an email which I'm going to be looking at for the first time and I am not sure what palettes I've got in store for me and that's what the challenge is about. So we're going to start with the first one, this one. Hmm. Now, this is a palette that I own, so I do recognize this one, and this is the Glisten Cosmetics Totally Botany palette. I really ought to have given you some time to pause. But I think I think that's it. I think it's Totally Botany, because I recognize the three metallics, I recognize the two very similar green mattes. We've got Peony down there, which is one of my favorite shades. It's just such a beautiful metallic pink. I know this one! But I'm gonna consider that an easy start because I don't think they'll have gone easy on me, so we'll have to see. But my first guess is Totally Botany from Glisten Cosmetics. The next one is this one? Hmm, it's a pastel palette. I'm not that familiar with pastel palettes, so I'm going to have to try my best to take a stab in the dark. I'm trying to see if I can count the shades because they're all blended together in the picture. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. So ten shade maybe. I don't know, it might be. I'm giving you lots of time to guess now. <laughs> but I'm not too sure the pastel palette. It's not the Beauty Bear pastels. And it looks like it's all matte, so it's probably not the Glamly, the big one, the ice cream one, it's not that one. It's, hmm, I might have to go back to that one at the end and see, see what it is. Okay, so two is a pass for now. Number three is this one. Hmm. I think this might be the Lethal Cosmetics Jolina palette, but I'm not that familiar with the palette itself, so that's kind of judging on like the individual colours which I can kind of pick out from it. Could it be something else? I'm gonna go with the Lethal Jolina palette for number three. 
I might be wrong though. Number four. Ooh. Now this is nice because it's got all, they're all lined up. So I'm gonna, I like to count the shades just to, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, as I suspected. I think this might be the Glaminatrix Sandra Rose palette because I recognize like the kind of the, the way that the metallics are and just like the certain undertones. I just feel like that was like my first impression. Could it be something else? It certainly isn't anything I have, so yeah, I'm gonna guess the Glaminatrix Sandra Rose palette. Number five is, ooh, how many shades is this? So that's, that one's a swatch there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because I immediately had a guess for this, and I think it is Ace Beauté Nostalgia palette, because it's a very sunset colour scheme, which that palette is, but it has that pop of teal, which I believe that's the shade that's called Theme Park, and like anything that's called Theme Park, I'm gonna know because I love roller coasters. So I'm going to say, but are there any palettes that do that same thing with the pop of teal? Usually it's like a pop of blue or a pop of green. It's never like in the middle. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna say Ace Beauté Nostalgia. I think it's the one 15 pan Ace Beauté palette that I don't have because I have Flare and Oceanic, but this one isn't on Beauty Bay yet. But I think it is Ace Beauté Nostalgia. That is my guess. Number six. Oh, I was considering putting this one in for Sky. This is Copacetic Cosmetics. What's the name of the palette? The Basket Case Beauty palette. I've... Elysian. It's the Corpacetic Cosmetics Elysian palette in collaboration with Basket Case Beauty. Yeah, because I recognize those mattes immediately and then obviously the four like shifting metallic shades. So yeah, I managed to get that one. So, so far I've only really struggled on one of the palettes, but I don't know. I think maybe they might have saved the hardest ones to last. So... Corpacetic, Basket Case Beauty, the Elysian palette. Number seven. Ooh! This one's an interesting one. I have a guess for this one. I'm not 100% certain. I'm thinking this could be the Linda Hallberg Spectral palette. It is called the Spectral palette, right? It's the one with like the, the cut up face on the front. I think it's the Spectral palette, but it is that Linda Holberg palette, I think. Yeah, because it's got the lavender, it's got the, the kind of turquoise shade, it's got the pink, and it's got that silver. And it's 8-pan, which I know that Linda Holberg palette is. I think it is. I, I'm willing to eat my words if I'm wrong, <laughs> so like... We'll say the Linda Holberg palette, the Spectral, let's say that. And then the last one is... I knew it. I... <laughs> I had a feeling that they'd put in an Odensei palette. I believe that this is the Odensei Salman palette because this is the one that is mostly like a neutral warmer palette, but it has that pop of lavender. And I love a pop of lavender, so I tend to know one when I see one. Again, I might be wrong. How many shades is it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I'm gonna assume that's a 12 pan and one of them's just like a really light shade. I'm gonna say it's the Salman palette by Odensei because I know they really love Odensei so yeah I think we'll go with that. So all of these ones that have been done so far I've got except for number two which is this pastel one and I know it's a matte pastel. Right one two three four five six seven eight it's like a nine or ten, maybe, pans. Oh my goodness. This is the one I'm stuck on, so I need to try and think. Pastel palette, all matte. Could it be the Beauty Bay one? No, the Beauty Bay one has a lime and a mint. It's definitely not the Beauty Bay one. Matte pastel palette. It's not pastel pups because it doesn't have the black and it doesn't have the, the trichrome. And I know that it isn't, I said it wasn't the glam light, Probably not. It's not the Pastel Tribe, because that has metallics. Oh my goodness. This one stumped me. I'm, I definitely don't think I have this one either, so 
it must be like a like a pastel it's definitely pastel in some way i'm just i'm eating my words repeating them constantly but hmm. Hmm. now i'm gonna pass on that one <laughs> i'm gonna leave this one as a pass because i don't know it so I guess I'm gonna have to settle for a maximum of seven out of eight. I'm not gonna get a full house on this one. Alrighty, so that was the eight palettes, and as far as I can tell, I've gotten concrete guesses for seven of them. So number one is Glisten Cosmetics Totally Botany, which I'm almost 100% on because I have that palette, and I, I like to think I know it quite well. Number two is the one I have no idea what it is. Number three, I've guessed Lethal Cosmetics and Jolina. Number four, I've guessed Glaminatrix Sandra Rose palette. Number five, I've guessed Ace Beauté Nostalgia palette. Number six, I've guessed the Copacetic Elysian palette from Basket Case Beauty. Number seven, I've guessed, and I think, I definitely think it is the Linda Holberg Spectral palette. And then number eight, I think is the Odenzai Salman palette. So now I'm going to open the answers and see if I'm right. So, number one, Glisten Cosmetics Totally Botany, yes! So that was the, the one I was pretty certain on, and yeah, like... I love that palette. Number two is... These must be out of order because that's the, the Linda Holberg Spectral palette. So I'm going to assume one of the answers is the Linda Holberg Spectral palette. So if I if there's a palette that I put, that pops up and I don't recognise, I'm just going to assume that that's the pastel palette that I didn't guess. So Linda Holberg Spectral palette was right. Copacetic palette was right. Sandra Rose was right. <laughs> Ah, the Lunar Skies palette! The Have You Cake palette! I thought that it might possibly be the Lunar Skies Blunt Tucky, but then I was like, no, it's not. It's too, like, bright. But it's the Lunar Skies one! The the cake palette! I actually really like. It's the one with the, the, the shade names are all the same! God, I should have got that one. And hold on a minute, wasn't it in the shape of a cake? Let me just check the... It was in the shape of a cake! The, the swatch picture is the shape of a cake! How did I not get that? That... Turns out number two was the Luna Skies Have Your Cake and Eat It palette. Oh, Lethal Jolina, that was right too. Oh, that's great. That was kind of a bit of a wild card choice. Yeah, there's the Salman palette. I think it's the Salman palette. Let me just check. I don't want to be claiming that I'm right when I'm not. So I'm gonna go on Odinzai's website just to double check because I'm not that massively familiar with Odinzai. Is it the Salman palette? Bingo! It is the Salman palette! Woo! And then, yep, the Nostalgia palette was also right, and that's it! So I got 7 out of 8, which I'm not gonna complain about, because that is a pretty good score as far as I'm concerned. So that was an experience. Let me know how you did, if you did play along with me, and if you did happen to get 8 out of 8, that's fine, I forgive you. And make sure you check out Sky's video, because I really want to see how they did. I definitely kind of sent a little bit more of a mainstream selection, I got a lot of indie palettes in this one. I want to see how they did, I'm, I'm curious to see, so make sure you check out their video, I will leave it in the description, at your convenience. If this is your first time seeing me, then welcome again. I'm not sure what I'm going to be providing in terms of video content, but I'm always going to be providing something, so if you want to see more of me, then you can subscribe to my channel. The bell is optional, but it's there for a reason. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and say hi to me, because I want to talk to some people. You can find me on Instagram, at Arlinette, where I post my palette designs. Something like this, or something like this. Or maybe something like this. If you liked one of those, chances are there's something there for you on my Instagram. So, there ain't that many excuses. And something you can also do is check out my podcast, Ari Lynette is Trying His Best, now available on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many other podcast platforms, where I just talk about anything I want to, and I let out a lot of energy. It's a lot of fun. Or if you just rather see what I think in words, you can follow me on my Twitter, which is in the description. You can also follow Pog on Instagram. <sighs> Leave this wig on. You can follow Pog on Instagram at the Blessed Pog. I mean, it's quality content. This wig is a lot to deal with. Hi, I just wanted to quickly interrupt and say right now the UK is in in another lockdown. So I wanted to make sure that everyone was staying safe, staying home if possible. And if you can't, then make sure that you wear a mask over your nose and mouth and wash your hands as thoroughly as you can. And don't pick up the thumbs, because, you know, 
even pogs forget the thumbs sometimes. And as always, Black Lives Matter and they always will. And be sure to stay safe out there with the current political climate. And stay informed, it's important. Either way, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had a good time watching it. I had a great time making it. And until next time, it is a goodbye from me. And it is a goodbye from Pog. Bye for now. Bye.